um, modeling and motion analysis of planar passive dynamic walker with thin security structure formed by four limbs and eight viscoelastic elements. And this paper will be presented by Fumi Kiho Asano, right? All right. So please go ahead. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for your introduction. Uh, I am Fumihiko Asano from JICE, Japan. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about our paper. The title is Modeling on the Motion Analysis of Prana Passive Dynamic Worker with Tensegrity Structure. Ah, sorry. Tensegrity Structure uh, formed by four. Uh, four limbs and eight viscoelastic elements. This paper was, uh, okay. This paper was co-authored by uh, Yang Hee Chen and Ron Chang Lee. Uh, in this paper, we reconsider the embodiment of the ability for environmental adaptation from the perspective of deformable body structures. And we investigate a new robot body shape and structure that creates high adaptability to the environment by deforming the whole body appropriately and flexibly in response to the uh, physical interaction. A tensegrity body structure realized by connecting rigid limbs with each other using only viscoelastic elements without using any rotary or telescopic joints. By adopting this structure, the robot can flexibly adapt to the environment by deforming the whole body. Uh, this is our prototype worker with tensegrity structure formed by three limbs and six springs, uh, with six springs and or with six levels. We have experimentally confirmed that the uh, uh, worker can generate a stable passive dynamic gate on a gentle downhill. In this paper, we developed the mathematical model and numerically investigate the effect of the springs with dampers uh, on the fundamental properties of the passive dynamic gates. Uh, this figure uh, shows the coordinate of rim I, uh, rim I and the uh, overall system. Here, uh, X I, Z I, uh, is the coordinate of the central position GI and is identical to its center of mass position. And theta i uh, here, theta i is the absolute angle with respect to the vertical direction. And Li, this is Li, is the half, half the length. SIA, uh, sorry, uh, SIA and SIB. Uh, these points are the mounting positions for springs and dampers. And Fi, a and FIB mm, are the end points of each limb. And uh, by using four of the limbs and eight springs, dampers, and rubbers, uh, we can develop the robot body as shown in this figure. And uh, since each limb, each limb has three DOF, so the robot has totally 12 DOF. The thick blue lines this, 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 and this. The thick blue lines uh, represent the springs, dampers, and rubbers. So these are viscoelastic elements. Uh, the model looks like a rot like uh, looks a rot like an eight legged remiss wheel, but not constraint force acts between the limits and the interaction force is transmitted only through the viscoelastic elements. Uh, by property, properly setting the system parameters, the robot can generate a stable passive dynamic gate on a gentle downhill. Uh, in this paper, we first developed the mathematical model by assuming that the robot has uh, linear springs only. After that, uh, we will analyze uh, the fundamental passive dynamic working motion. Modeling. Uh, by setting the generalized coordinate vector like this, uh, Q uh, includes x1, z1, theta1, and uh, finally x4, z4, theta4, 
So the robot has totally 12 DOF. And the robot equation of motion then becomes uh, like this. Here, uh, PG and PE, uh, respectively, the potential energies by the gravity and elasticity. Uh, please see our paper for further detail. And uh, here, uh, JC is a Jacobian matrix uh, determined according to the ground contact conditions uh, explained later. Uh, holonomic constraint condition. Mm, as an example, uh, we first explain the case that uh, if F1A is in contact with the ground. <clears throat> in this case, uh, the position X F1A and Z F1A uh, do not move. So uh, their time derivatives must become zero. So we can determine the Jacobian matrix JC like this. So uh, we then name this Jacobian matrix J1A. And uh, so the uh, holomic constraint condition is uh, described as JCQ dot equals zero like this. So by uh, differentiating this with respect, to, with respect to time, we obtain this equation. And by solving the uh, simultaneous equations of this and robot equation of motion, uh, we can solve them for uh, Lagrange undetermined multiplier vector lambda 1a like this. Uh, this is the uh, uh, ground reaction for spectre. And uh, then uh, as the robot moves, the contact point, ground contact point uh, transitions in the order of this from F1a to F2a to F3a, and finally F4b, and then uh, F1a again. After that, if the next foot point uh, F2A runs on the ground, the robot motion transitions uh, to double rim support motion. So uh, these holonomic constraint conditions are newly added to the system. So uh, we have to change the Jacobian matrix JC to this uh, four by uh, 12 size matrix. Uh, we name this as uh, J1A2A. So uh, we have to change the Jacobian matrix according to the contact condition. Uh, we assume that all the leg ends have a complete inelastic collision with the ground. That is, uh, they are constrained to the ground without sliding or bouncing immediately after collision. Uh, here, the case where the rear foot point is F1A and the four foot is F2A. As an example, uh, we consider even if the uh, foot point F2A collides with the ground, there is no effect on the rims other than rim two. Therefore, a non-instantaneous double rim support motion always emerges after the collision. The holonomic constraint condition immediately after impact is then identical to the double, double rim support motion for F1A and F2A uh, in contact with the ground, uh, I just explained. So in this case, uh, Jacobian matrix for impact Ji is identical to J1A to A. Numerical simulations, uh, we set initial state like this and uh, system parameters are chosen as the values listed in table one. Gate analysis, a passive dynamic gate one. Our figure 2a shows a steep diagram of the generated passive dynamic walking on a gentle downhill with an inclination angle of 0.05 radian. So in this case, uh, the walker does not utilize uh, the damping effect, so elasticity only. Uh, animation. So we can see that the worker can successfully generate a passive dynamic gate on a gentle slope. However, uh, mm, however, the passive dynamic gate has a problem. The red line shows the vertical ground reaction force acting on the stance foot in the single rim support phase. 
the blue line shows that uh, the vertical ground reaction force acting on the rear foot in the double rim support phase. And the green line shows that acting on the forefoot in the double rim support phase, respectively. And we can see that the vertical ground reaction force acting on the rear foot monotonically decreases and reaches to zero at the end of every double rim support phase. Whereas that acting on the forefoot sometimes becomes negative immediately after impact. In such cases, the forefoot would leave the ground immediately after landing. But this was ignored in the numerical simulations. And time, uh, sorry, uh, this figure shows the uh, uh, evolution of the step periods for three values of theta 1.0, that is uh, the initial angular velocity. We can see that the step period in each case did not converge to a steady value, and that uh, the resultant behavior differs depending on the initial angular velocity. We, uh, we conducted a lot of analysis to generate a stable patch dynamic gate by adjusting various parameters. But regardless of the parameters, the vertical ground reaction force acting on the forefoot became negative uh, during motion. And the generated gate did not converge to a period one limit cycle. We finally had to conclude that uh, uh, it is impossible to generate a stable passive dynamic, passive dynamic gate only with uh, elastic elements. So we then added a damper, damping effect um, parallel to the elastic element to stabilize the uh, generated passive dynamic motion. And first, uh, we set the viscosity coefficient to 1.0. We can see that the generated passive dynamic gate is smoother than the previous one. Uh, simulation results. From figure 3b, uh, we can see that the behavior of the vertical ground reaction forces also became periodic significantly by the effect of viscosity. However, uh, the condition of unilateral constraint cannot uh, unilateral constraint condition cannot be met at immediately after every impact like this. So um, we then um, increase the viscosity more. Okay, so we finally uh, set the viscosity um, viscous coefficient to ten points there. So we can see that the uh, initial value sensitivity has been improved. But the values, ah, sorry, ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, uh, okay, please finish uh, yeah. your, your presentation as fast as you okay. can, please. We can see that the condition of unilateral constraint can be met uh, during motion. So, um, passive dynamic gate could be successfully generated according to the uh, viscosity coefficient effect. Okay, so period one gate has been generated. Uh, conclusion and future work. Uh, in this paper, we uh, discussed the fundamental passive dynamic gate properties. Uh, and uh, in the future, uh, we will perform more detailed analysis of the effects of the system parameters on the gate properties. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you for your presentation. Um, any question from the, the audience? No one? Okay, uh, I have a question. Uh, have you ever tried to, to implement this, um, this model? Uh, well, not the model, but implement this, this system in a, um, in a dynamics engine, like example, without including the model, of course, and um, try to, to compare your results with this approach uh, using a, a, a dynamics engine. Have you ever tried it? Uh, sorry, uh, you mean uh, comparison with other models or... Uh... Mm. Well, I mean, you, you, you can draw your, your system in a dynamics engine, like example, okay, dynamics and engine. see how it works. Oh, dynamics engine? Uh, sorry, uh, we developed uh, very, very uh, specific uh, mathematical equations. It, it was very, very complicated. And uh, we have achieved uh, very, very um, um, precise numerical simulations by ourselves. And uh, so, 
mm, the robot equation of motion is very, very complicated. So <laughs> we just tested the uh, basic gate properties only. Sorry. So um, okay. we didn't okay. discuss um, in detail yet. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your answer. Uh, any more question? No. Okay. Uh, thanks again for Fumihiko Azano for this oh, thank presentation. You very much.